Morning everyone, it's Colin here, your favourite blind golfer, blind sportsman. Before I begin today, I would like to tell my friends around the world, my mum had a good night. She's going for more tests today and thank you very much for all your support. She had a very good night. Right, now what I'm going to tell you now is the story of the day we went to San Martins for the nine hole golf challenge. We were picked up about 25 past 10, I was, and taken to San Martins golf course. We got there about quarter past 11. 20 past 11, sorry. Um, we went there, we sat down, we talked, and then we got up and went towards to do some training first. I did some great shots, some nice um, wedges and some nice iron shots and some great uh, drives. By the side of me I had John, John Ogden, an amazing man from Cornwall. He is truly a, my friend now. He's a special friend. He came all that way from Cornwall to see me play and to be in my team. I thought so much of that. I think so much of it now. He's an amazing man. Thank you, John, if you're watching. He did some beautiful um, photographs, sorry, um, filming of my um, iron shots and um, my drives. To come all that way for me is unbelievable. And I just want to say, John, thank you very much for all you've done. And that was brilliant. Yeah, when we finished the training on there, we went up and done some uh, putts. I could not imagine what those putts would mean to me in the rest of the day later on. We went back outside the clubhouse and sat there talking about what we would do, uh, what we we're going to do and everything. We had to wait our turn because of about 15 minutes each to tee off. So we waited and waited for a long time. It seemed like eternity. But sitting there talking to people, a blind like me, was unbelievable. It was like we were discussing the time of day. Did you see that? Did you see this? This is what this is what golf and sports means to people. Did you see Wayne Rooney on on uh, Sunday I think it was, playing for Everton against Burnley. Did you did you see um, the people, you know, in the in the Vic, sorry in the Victors games? This is what sport and uh, golf mean to blind people and um, disabled people too. We all talked about the news and what would happen on the day. And I'm a Reading supporter through and through. But one day I, I would I wish the team would support me too. By sending a tweet or following me, I will be happy. So if you listen out there, Reading Football Club, I am the blind sportsman of Reading. I need your support. I support you. Please could you support me? Right. We sat there and we talked. We had a cup of tea and we talked. What we would do, who would go first, who would go last. I was told I was going first in my team. Then it was the big time, what to do. I got, I got taken by the arm down to the tee. We had to wait for about five minutes because other people were teeing off. And when it came to my turn, I stood and I could hear what I've all said all the way along the sound of life, the sound of the wildlife. It was a great place to be and I was so happy. I stood on that tee, I did a few practices and then it was my turn. I hit a drive straight down the middle and it went off into, the, went off into a little bit of rough. The other, John and Alan took their drives but mine was taken first. 
John hit a lovely iron shot straight up and near the green. And we went up there and we took his shot first because it was called Texas Scramble we were playing. The longest shot would be the one we use. So when we stood there, I had a chance of uh, chipping it onto the green. I think the first chip, I missed the green, I think. I missed, not missed the green, but I missed the hole. It went past. But John did some amazing shots. And so did Alan. We got it in, and I think we parred the first hole. No, we a, a, a five over, I think it was. Uh, sorry, it was four, par four, and we did a par five, which wasn't too bad. We went to the second hole, and this was unbelievable. They said, there's a great big lake in front of you. Oh no. And I said, I hit the ball, it went absolutely beautiful, plop straight into the lake. And they said, oh, we'll take our, we take ours now and they went down the side but they said there's nothing to be scared about that because lots of people find the lake and we went up to the second hole I think it was I did a lovely chip onto the green and it just missed the pin it was amazing and we did I think we powered that hole and we went on to the third hole and I think that was a par four and I, hit, I, I missed two shots, I missed the ball twice, but you know me, I'm so determined, I wanted to do it. I got the third one head on, and it went miles out into the straight as a die, and I heard people cheering. It was the team in front that had lost their balls, their golf balls, and they said, oh, that's fantastic, Colin, that's fantastic, what a hit. And John and Alan were so pleased. I call it What a Cracker on YouTube. It's an amazing shot. So if you have a chance, watch it. Because if you miss the first two, you'll get the second, you'll get the third, which I did. And the fourth green, blimey, that was good. The wind was whistling by now. It was hailing across, the, it was wailing across the, uh, the course. I could feel it. I had my jumper on, my Reading golf jumper. Because Reading is my team, Reading is um, my local team, my local golf course. And they, and my, my captain, sorry, my coach was Joe Templer. He is Joe Templer and he's an amazing coach and he's taught me so much. Everything about Reading is an amazing place, the management and everything. But back to the fourth hole. The fourth hole was unbelievable. I think I did a I did a drive and it went down the middle. And John said, I'll do one and all. So he did one. And I think they took John's drive that time. And we went up towards the green. And I could hear in the woods, there was like rustling going on. It's like deers and stuff were there. And animals. And I could hear by the side, you could hear um, geese. They were actually on the course. And I took a shot. I did a, a wedge shot. And it went right up to the green. And John said, oh, that's fantastic. And then we went down to look at, Don went down to see what it was. And I had to hit a shot um, straight about six or seven feet from the hole. And you wanna bet it went in. It was absolutely brilliant. We all shook hands and high-fived each other. Alan's so nice. He sort of jumped up in the air and grabbed onto my arm and, you did it, you done it. It was brilliant. And the, I think by then we were uh, four, five, um, level par, four, and a four. That was it. Then we went par fours, they were. Then we went to a par three which was the sixth, I'm sure it was, the, sorry, the fifth. It went down to the fifth. Was it the fifth or the sixth? I can't remember. Uh, sixth, say the sixth. He went down there. We hit a lovely shot and it went down right near the green. But I tell you what, this par three was like a par four. 
You had to hit it really hard to get anywhere. And in front of you was a mess. There's a place there like a bog. If your ball went in there, you'd never get out of it. And then we went over that. And I think we took another two shots to get onto the green. So we we're about uh, four on that one for a par three. But that's not bad. First time over nine holes. Then the seventh. Blimey, the seventh was unbelievable. John said, I'd hit my um, drive down towards right off the green, you know, by the side. And it was off the green. There was no grass off the green. It was just like rough. You know, you know what I mean, like um, long stuff. And I went down and he said, well, I think you might, might be hard to do this, Carl. And I went down and I, it was so amazing. Everybody jumped up in the air and said high fives and you're brilliant and all that, like you're inspiring us. And I did, I hit, I took the shot off the green and it landed, guess where? Eight feet from the hole, but it, it went past the hole by an inch. I was so proud, I was so pleased. And John was an old, he said, that was a fabulous shot. And Alan did know. He said, nearly went in, nearly went in. How oh, Alan talks, it's amazing. He's a great man. He made me so feel at home, feel at home there. And so did John. I felt like part of a team. A team that was brilliant. A team that was going places. We put the ball in the hole and I did it. About six or seven foot. Went straight in the hole. Brilliant, he said that. We, we powered that hole. Then we went to the eighth. The eighth hole was a par four and all. But this was tricky. Because either side of you, there was a lake. So don't swing it off, swing it down the middle. So we put it down the middle. And we went to get the um, iron shot done. And my iron shot went right up towards, I think it was about, 80 yards from the green and John said oh I'll have this one then and he put it up there and it was beautiful it landed on the green but it was it was about um, four foot three foot from the hole four, something like that yeah it was brilliant how we done that and he told me well I think it's your turn now you're you're putting you're on fire you're putting with your putting and I went up to it and John said I'm ready, ready, like that. And I hit it in the hole and he went, oh yes. And Alan was jumping up and down again. It was amazing. We went to the ninth after that, the last hole. This was very tricky. It was a par four, but it had a um, lake in the middle. We had to get over the lake to get to the green. And when we got, we did, we got as far as the, what was it? I put one onto the side, which I miscalculated, and John hit a beautiful shot down the middle, and so did Alan. So we got up to it, and we hit it, and it went over the, it went on near the lake, but John said, what we'll do, we'll take my shot, because it went onto the green, and Alan's shot, sorry, and that went onto the green. And we're about 12, what's it about, 10 foot, 12 foot from the hole? And it was up to me then. And when I hit the ball at the last hole, uh, at the last green, it was amazing. Everybody willing it in. I could hear him on the hillside. I could hear Andrew, my friend, and Jeanette. Jeanette was coming up behind me. Jeanette's um, to do with uh, Reading Vision, Berkshire Vision. She's a nice lady. She always makes you feel like you're the one. So what we do, what we did then, I did the shot, I did the putt. The putt was, oh it was beautiful. It went, just sheared off at the end, they said, to the left, about an inch. That would have been brilliant. But having said that, we had a great day. And I just want to thank uh, Berkshire Vision for all they've done for me. And um, San Martin's Golf Course. And Simon, my coach. And Alan. And John. John, if you're listening or watching this, you're amazing. I will send you the video later on. I can't, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for coming all that way.
My first nine holes, and I don't think it'll be my last, I enjoyed every minute. I remember afterwards, we stood on the, by the hill, and you could hear the people coming in behind us. There was two plops on there. You could hear the plop going into the lake at the front. But then we said we'd go off and have something to eat. So we went up to the clubhouse and we had something to eat. It was amazing. It made the day special. It made the day very special in every way. So this is the story of the day I played nine holes at St Martin's, but I've not finished yet. I remember going to the bus, the coach, minibus, sitting there and wondering, did you really do that? And my coach driver said, you did, you really did. And my friends were on the coach, my blind teammates, and they said, we heard about your great shot off the green. It nearly landed in a hole. It went past by an inch. That's on YouTube too. So I just want to say this. We took, I got home about half past seven. My dad was so, he couldn't believe it, what I had achieved. I'm so, every day I feel inspired to inspire everybody else. I have so much more inspiration left. So much more. And it's coming in your direction soon again. But what a, what a brilliant day. What a brilliant end to start a day. That's, sorry, what a brilliant uh, day. And what a brilliant end to the day. To have, have, your, have something to eat, get your prize, and come back to your house, half past seven, and your dad's so proud. Thanks. I'll see you later on. Thanks. Bye.